Conor McGregor vs Dustin Poirier 3. An unfortunate result, but the right person was declared victorious. As a fan of Conor's, I'm disappointed, but I can't really say that I'm surprised. All throughout fight week, Dustin was soaring with confidence while Conor seemed like he was just trying to recapture his old spark, which is something I predicted in my previous video. It doesn't change the fact that Conor should not trash talk Dustin in the lead up to their trilogy fight. Bringing back the bravado and trash talk in an attempt to get into Dustin's head would be a subtle sign of weakness. Despite everybody saying they wanted the old trash talking Conor back, I said if Conor brought back the trash talk and the bravado, it would be a sign of weakness in Dustin's eyes. And guess what? Do you think he's trying to summon up that, uh, that angry, that old hungry sure. type of Conor? He's trying to prove to himself that he's still got it? Yeah, I think so. It's just, it's, like I said, it, talking to Brett, it just, I, I feel insecurity, you know? Sure. He's, he's worried. The pressure's on him. Dustin saw weakness in Connor's mindset and walked into that octagon with much less respect for Connor's power than he had previously. Although Connor started the fight well, implementing the kicks and the movement I wanted from him, they clinch up after Dustin tags him a few times. Bizarrely, Connor goes for a guillotine. For somebody who has claimed to have the highest fight IQ in the game, this was genuinely one of the stupidest decisions he could have made. Connor, somebody known to not have the best ground game, attempts to submit Dustin, a BJJ black belt. As expected, Dustin escapes, and he subsequently smashes Connor for the rest of the round. Similarly to the Habib fight, Herb Dean ignores some of Connor's fouls, which makes me think he was paid off both times to help Connor. But ironically, by ignoring Connor's glove grabbing, it leads to both fighters standing back up, where Connor subsequently snaps his ankle, and that's the fight. Connor had the right game plan, but very poor fight IQ. Dustin Poirier was the better fighter that night. Already, this sucks to see but as a Connor fan, what hurt the most was his behavior after the fight. He's laying on the ground with a snapped ankle after being mauled for the first round, and instead of having a shit happens attitude about it, he rages at Dustin and brings his wife back into it, calling her a certain derogatory term that shares the same name as a gardening tool. This post-fight interview kind of reminded me of when a superhero defeats a villain and the villain just sits there angrily, like when Perry the Platypus defeats Doofenshmirtz and he just curses at him from a distance. Although it was comical and some people found it funny, it was just kind of sad for me to watch. A complete fall from grace for Connor. For somebody who was always humble in, in victory, victory or, or defeat, defeat, this was not an encouraging into the night. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby! Hit me back up on chat till later on! We'll be at the party to win the cup, baby! You're looking bitch, you little Where is the humble part? Connor has shown in the past that he has the ability to expertly handle defeat. Against Nate Diaz, he could have used so many excuses. It was short notice. He's way bigger than me. I'm not used to fighting at 170. I wasn't training for him, etc. But instead of making excuses, he accepted a defeat like the champion he was and gave credit to Nate. Even in his second fight with Dustin, he, initially, gave credit to Dustin for the good game plan and the good kicks. Where's the good attitude here? Or did that just disappear like the rest of his personality? Who even is Conor McGregor? I followed his journey from the beginning. I wholeheartedly believed he was a good person just following his dreams. Brash and cocky enough to be funny but still with a good heart. But at this point, I don't even know. Who is the real Connor? The nice one? The arrogant one? The supervillain? It's hard to be a supporter when you don't even know who you're supporting. At least with Colby Covington, it's clear he has his promoting side and his real side. Although this was clear for Connor at one point, now only he really knows. But regardless of Connor's personality, he's still known for being the best. His entire brand is built on being the best. He's the millionaire double champ who talks the talk and walks the walk. But when he starts talking the talk without being able to walk the walk, issues begin to arise. In all of his defeats, he had some sort of narrative to justify his loss. Against Nate, he took a risk at 170 and it didn't pay off. Against Habib, he was unfocused and rusty after being out of the octagon for two years. Against Dustin the second time, he wasn't in the karate stance, and now, he's just snapped his ankle. Although he has some sort of reasoning for all of these losses that doesn't involve him not being the best, seeing him lose has become an increasingly familiar sight. What is his full potential? Will we ever see him at his full potential again? And is his full potential enough to become champion? Honestly, I don't think we will ever see Connor make it back to the top, which sucks to see because he is, skill for skill, probably the most talented fighter in the lightweight division. He showed to have much better boxing than Dustin in their second fight, and much better kicks than Dustin in their third fight, although for some reason having one meant sacrificing the other in both contests. He has pretty good takedown defense, which he showed against Habib, and he's got better cardio than people give him credit for. He could absolutely beat any of the top fighters in the division with the right game plan and mindset, but chances are, he wouldn't have the right game plan or mindset. Now, with a recently snapped ankle, he's going to have yet another year out of the sport. Another year where Connor stagnates and the rest of the division moves forward without him. 
But enough whining. I want to end this video off by giving all props to Dustin. He has shown throughout his whole career what hard work and dedication can do for a man. A man who lost via first round knockout to Connor back in 2014, climbed his way back to the top and is now on the cusp of a title shot after returning the favour to Connor twice in a row. What a story, and if he wins against Charles, he will finally have won the title after 35 professional fights. Amazing career resurgence and a great display of perseverance. I look forward to what the future has to hold for Dustin, and I hope Connor can bounce back from this and remind us all why he's the star he is today.